So today I went to go and see Haunting Julia. It was freaking awesome and bloody scary and I suggest anyone go and see it because it is cool. This is Haunting Julia. Scary face. Mm, it was pretty scary. There was blood and, and breakages and stuff. But don't worry, today's video is not going to be anything scary, nothing like that. Today's video is going to be about Christmas, because everyone loves Christmas, including me. Obviously, not if you don't celebrate it and, and stuff. As I did say in a previous video, Christmas reminds me of Jaffa Cakes, so I'm going to be eating a ton of Jaffa Cakes, but that isn't what this video is about. Today's video is going to be about me reading you a book off the internet. So, is it really a book? I'm not sure. A thing. A poem. I don't know. A story. The Elf and the Shoemaker. I remember reading this book when I was about six, I think, when I was in infant school, going into junior school, or junior school already, which is like elementary school. I remember reading this book, and I loved it, and it was so, so good, and I thought I would tell you guys about the story if you don't know about it. So without further ado, let's begin the reading of the story. Thought I'd turn off the lights to give it a bit more of a feel. So let's get started. There was once a shoemaker who worked very hard and was very honest. But still, he could not earn enough money to live. And at last, all he had in the world was gone. He saved just enough leather to make one last pair of shoes. He then cut out the leather, ready to make the shoes the next day. His conscience was clear and his heart light amidst all his troubles. So he peacefully and soundly went to bed and soon fell asleep. In the morning after he had said his prayers, he sat himself down to his work when, to his great wonder, there stood the shoes, already made upon the table. The good man didn't know what to say or think as such an odd thing happening. He looked at the workmanship. There was no false stitch. All was neat. All was true. The shoes were quite the masterpiece. The same day, a customer came in and the shoes suited him well, so well that he willingly paid a price higher for them. The poor shoemaker found that he had enough money to buy more leather, enough to make two more pairs of shoes. In the evening, he cut out the work and went to bed early, that he might get up and begin work early the next day. But he was saved all the trouble, for when he got up in the morning, the work was done. Soon in came buyers who paid him handsomely for his goods, so that he was able to buy a lot more leather. Enough to make four more pairs. He cut out the work again, found it done by morning as before, and so it went on for some time. The good man became thriving and well off. Rich dude. One evening, about Christmas time, he and his wife were sitting by the fire, chatting together. He said to her, I should like to sit up and watch tonight. When they come in, I want to see who comes and does the work for me. The wife liked the idea, so they left the fire burning and crackling away and hid themselves in the corner of the room behind a curtain hung up there. They watched and waited for what would happen. As soon as it was midnight, two little naked dwarfs came in. They sat themselves upon the shoemaker's bench, took up all the work that was cut out and began to work away, stitching and rapping and tapping away at such a rate that this shoemaker was in wonder and could not take his eyes off them. On they went until the job was done. The shoes stood ready for use upon the table. They then bustled away as quick as lightning. The next day, the wife said to the shoemaker, These little things have made us rich. We ought to be thankful and do them a good deed in return. It makes me sad to see them run as they do, and indeed it is not very decent for they have nothing on their backs to keep the cold away. I tell you what, said the shoemaker, I will make each of them a shirt, a coat, a waistcoat, a pair of platoons, and a little pair of shoes. The thought pleased the old cobbler very much, and one evening, when all the things were ready, they laid them out on the table instead of the work, and sat and hid themselves. About midnight they came in, dancing and skipping, hopping around the room, and then they sat down to work as usual. But when they saw the clothes lying for them, they laughed and chuckled and seemed mightfully delighted. They then dressed themselves very quickly and danced and capered and sprung around as merry as they could, till at last they danced out the door 
and away over the green. The good couple never did see the others again, but everything went well for them from then on. I don't know about you, but that's a freaking good story. And hearing that as a kid is like, oh, it's so cute, because you always, you always like fairy tales and stuff. And it just makes you happy. And even even at my age, it makes me happy again. Knowing that Christmas is coming up soon and 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 stuff. And it's going to be so fun and awesome. So, as always, guys, I'm going to end it here. If you like the video, click the like button. If you want to subscribe, click the subscribe button. It's up there around there somewhere. Please add this video to your favourites and share it to your Facebook or Twitter. Now I'm going to leave you to the rest of your daily devices. Have a good day. And a Merry Christmas. And goodbye.